We went to Jessie's house and met her parents when uh, Jessie uh, and her dad and her mom were just like just started jigging in the kitchen and giving her and, and like <laughs> that's that's the nugget that's where culture really happens and that's like where I felt like people really kind of learn like who they are like at home right that came up really organically yeah because they were just they were showing music right mm -hmm. and then my dad started to jig start move yeah, yeah he's he's like, stay still <laughs> Mallory's dad pulls up in uh, his truck with this huge <laughs> moose that they hunted. So they skinned it and like, you know, prepared it <laughs> and stuff. And I'd never like seen anything like it. I was a little terrified at first when I heard what, like, what was gonna happen. Because, yeah, I've never seen like an animal even that close really. I feel lucky that I got to see that. I work with indigenous kids. I was running day camps over the summer as well. and. I went to one of the powwows and I saw some of the kids that I work with. My camp name was, uh, was Blackbird, and they're like, Blackbird, why are you here? And they all came like running up to me. And I think that that kind of captures really what powwows are to me. It was it was a cool weekend. Like besides the mosquitoes, it was in. I think it was a great time. What I gained out of it was friends for for life. Cause like everyone that was there, yeah, they, you know, they were into teasing the only blackfoot person there, but I think I've seen it all before, and you know, I could, you know, I could take it, or I could take the teasing, but I could definitely dish it out as well, so, you know, if I ever see any of them down here, well, <laughs> of course I'm gonna tease them. Welcome back <laughs> from your trips and and uh, joining back together again. So what is this idea, we are all treaty people? What does that mean? For me, being a treaty person and recognizing my position as a treaty person is to recognize that it is something that is still in the present day as well. Uh, it wasn't something that just the generations before me did and I just happen to be here now. And I think with that also comes a respect for the Indigenous cultures that are still here and that are constantly changing. I feel incredibly loved thinking about it. Think about my ancestors who thought of me, who wanted my life to be good mm -hmm. and made that choice. You know, I think, I think that's an incredibly loving thing that they did and they didn't know what was gonna necessarily happen or what it would look like, but. I've never thought of like, I've never thought of the treaty or treaties in general, I guess, as being like an act of love. And I really like that. And it's it's interesting, I guess, coming from a, a background of like being a settler Canadian. But for me, like I don't view that as like an act of love because I know that, you know, it wasn't necessarily love that was driving um, the Canadian government to sign those documents or to push those to be signed. I feel like without that agreement here, that that agreement to live in this area together, um, like I could have never been on this earth, right? And this agreement to share this sacred space, a lot of people don't see this space is sacred, right? Like when you walk downtown, this is, so it's not downtown, it's the place of creation and we agreed to share that space, right? It's like we're trying to figure out how to make treaty, you know? Like, so it's not just that there is a treaty, mm -hmm. but it's that we're actually always trying to figure out how to come to, you know, better agreements that does share the space and also better agreements with the land, right? Because clearly we've, we've broken a lot of that, those treaties. It's a very giving process and you learn so much from it, like you get so much from doing that. So you gain like an understanding of your sense of place, you gain uh, relationships that are respectful with the land and each other and yourself. 
I struggle with is, okay, we are all treaty people, but is that just kind of, we say that so we can feel good about, okay, we're, we're all treaty people, yay, mm -hmm. <laughs> done. <laughs> or, or is it actually like, no, we are all treaty people, but that means actually no, another level of responsibility. I think, you know, to say that we're treaty people now, you know, is kind of making ourselves feel better about what's going on. But the truth is, those treaties were, were still broken, are still being broken. I think efforts have been made in the true essence of the treaty. I think we're on the right track to maybe rekindling that relationship with not only settlers and indigenous people, but also the land as well. If we were to really say, oh, we are treaty people, well, we're gonna have to make drastic changes mm -hmm. to make that happen because there's been drastic changes since the signing of the treaty. Mm -hmm.